I was not equipped to understand the Middle East for, by, by my American upbringing because I, I thought in the way that I was raised that, that when you establish a personal connection with someone, when you break bread with them, when you talk to them, when you, when you, when you find the human qualities in them and allow, your, allow them to find the human qualities in you, that, that should trump religion and trump politics and trump tribe. And what I was learning in this place was that that didn't necessarily hold true in the Middle East. But what you do have is people who are have not gone so far over into this apocalyptic uh, Hamas Hezbollah kind of thinking that 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 they don't see the value in accepting the reality of Israel and giving up much of their dream because the most the most consequential war in the Palestinian territories it's not the war between Hamas or Fatah or or the, the street war, or the war between Israel and, and Hamas, it's, it's the war between this cult of death and, the, and these people who still believe in, in an imperfect life on earth. Well, and if you believe that Israel is perfect, okay, then you believe Israel is perfect. And I mean, I hear it all the time. I mean, I, you know, when I talk to these groups, these, these people, you know, cannot, they can't stand, they think that any criticism of Israel is anti-Semitic. And, but I mean, if you criticize British policy, does that make you, you know, a, a hater of the English? It's policies. Even anti-Semites have their favorite Jews. You know, it's funny, when I left Ketziot, I thought to myself, boy, you know, Americans would never do this, never run a prison this cruelly. And after I, you know, because I've been in Iraq a lot, and a after Abu Ghraib and seeing other, you know, some other things like that, I thought to myself, boy, the Israelis would never behave this way. <laughs> and it's true. You learn that, that, that when you have power in a prison and your, your power, your your power is not checked by a system. It's easy to do anything you want. I happen to think that Israel deals, you know, as a democracy in in a self-correcting way. When it has an excess, it tries to fix it, just like America tries to fix its excesses. And Abu Ghraib, there is. I, I don't. That said, the the idea that oh well, Jews can do as bad a thing as anybody else in the world. I, I just that level of weird sexual sadism. In, in that in, in that in that prison uh, with these American guards, I don't I can't picture that happening. And you know the interesting thing about all this is that the Israelis, when all this stuff is going on, because I was in Israel for part of the Israelis. I mean, I mean, I'm not talking about the peace now Israelis. I mean, like the Shabak Israelis, the the secret police Israelis, and the army Israelis. We're watching the the Americans and how they're running their prisons and how they're doing their interrogations and thinking. You know, Jesus. Well, they weren't thinking Jesus Christ, but they were thinking. <laughs> they were thinking, like, what are these people doing?